Time is running out for the University of Kentucky to respond to a federal lawsuit that exposes sexual assault allegations. Former head swimming and diving team coach Lars Jorgensen is the man in question. Last week, statements from the university were released addressing NCAA violations within the program and UK's football team. UK President Eli Capilouto also acknowledged the lawsuit. The lawyers representing the plaintiffs say the fight for justice is far from over. The federal Title IX lawsuit filed in April accuses the university and athletics director Mitch Barnhart of being deliberately indifferent toward allegations of sexual and other abuses while allowing Jorgensen to create a, quote, toxic and sexually hostile environment within the swim program. On Friday, President Capilouto stated the university was not aware of the most serious allegations made against Jorgensen until the lawsuit was filed and laid out changes the university will make to ensure this does not happen again. When we first spoke with one of the plaintiffs, Briggs Alexander in April, he said he felt hurt and let down by the university. And our coaches aren't protecting us in this, in this situation, he wasn't. Um, we should have been able to trust the Title IX office and none of us could and we didn't know that. Megan Bonani, who is an attorney representing the plaintiffs, responded to Friday's statement saying in part that although the NCAA and UK reached a resolution regarding violations in the university's football and swimming and diving programs, it should not be viewed as a complete or final resolution concerning the allegations against Lars Jorgensen. As he was not a party to the agreement and his actions are still being investigated separately by the NCAA. The University of Kentucky is due to respond to the lawsuit in court tomorrow.